This is a Voyager mission control area. This is where we talk to our spacecraft. Ace copies, we have to run it through, looks good. Copy that, thank you. Tonight we're going to be getting the data back from a magnetometer roll calibration maneuver. And that maneuver actually happened on the Voyager 1 spacecraft more than 16 hours ago. But the data is finally making it back to the Earth. What we're doing is a roll about this high gain antenna. And so if the, if the high gain antenna here is pointed out toward the Earth, we're going to be rolling the spacecraft along that high gain antenna. That roll is done so that we can calibrate the instrument so that uh, when we take data, we know what magnetic field belongs to the sun and what, what component belongs to the actual spacecraft. Voyager 1 is now 120 times as far from the sun as the Earth is. That means it's 11 billion miles out, and Voyager 2 is 9 billion miles out. They're very near the edge of the bubble the sun creates around itself called the heliosphere. We're getting very close to the boundary. We don't know how close because no spacecraft has ever been there before. But it could be another few months, it could be another few years, but it's probably not much longer than that. We travel a billion miles every three years. You can't see the bubble the sun creates around itself because it's invisible, but we can see an analog of it in a sink. If we turn the water on very fast and look at the bottom of the sink, we see that near where the water hits the bottom of the sink, it's flowing very fast radially outward in all directions and getting thinner until it abruptly slows down in this thick region and turns around and flows down the drain. The two Voyager spacecraft are both in this thick region in our heliosphere where the wind has slowed down and is turning to go down the tail of the heliosphere. And eventually, within the, uh, we hope in not too many more years, Voyager 1 will leave this thick region and enter interstellar space. It's really remarkable. We have a 20-watt transmitter on the spacecraft transmitting over 11 billion miles away. And so it comes in very slowly. But every bit left that spacecraft over 16 hours ago. Every bit is telling us something new that we haven't known before.